Welcome to another episode of Inside Innovation. My name is Chris Leone, Senior Vice President of Application Development here at Oracle, running our HCM Cloud. And I'm super excited today to bring you our enterprise experience platform called HCM Cloud Journeys. Let's go and show you a little bit about what that's all about. First, um, we're back at our, our standard um, uh, HCM Cloud homepage and everything, everything looks the same, but I'm gonna start with um, our um, embedded AI as part of our user experience called Suggestions. So what Suggestions does is make suggestions, recommendations, intelligent nudges um, to users as to their next likely task that they should be completing within the system. So um, I can see why these tasks are being recommended. And I'm gonna start with um, our HR shared services area, which is our um, HR dashboard that reports metrics related to our HR help desk. So I'm gonna start with an understanding of how my organization is doing um, from a um, support perspective and seeing if we have any, any potential concerns. So here's a really nice um, report that I can look at that kind of summarizes um, our shared service and, and how, um, how many tickets are being opened up in different areas. And I can see very, very quickly that we have a potential issue in facilities and it relates to facilities access. So I'm gonna drill in and do some of the details. And if I look at all the tickets that are being open, I can see that there are a number of access requests for a new office building that my team is moving into. I can recognize a lot of these names are all on my team. So I have a good understanding that um, we're having some, some issues um, getting access to our new building that, that our team has moved into in, in the Austin campus. So first part is kind of understanding and doing some analysis about a, a problem that we're having. And now with our employee experience platform that we're delivering called Journeys, I can go solve that problem in real time um, and make some adjustments um, to a, an experience or a journey that um, the employees on my team are on. So let's jump into Journeys. And again, this is a suggestion through our AI enabled recommendations engine um, for me to drill into. So I'm gonna start um, in Journeys and I'm gonna be brought to our Journeys um, launch pad area. And so this is where you would go to see all of the journeys that you're on. Um, so these are my journeys. And you could explore all the journeys that exist um, that you could go on within the organization. And so what's nice here is this is a single point of self-service that any employee can come in and find different journeys or different experiences that they can go on. Um, they could be HR related experiences like becoming a mentor or growing on your career and taking steps in order to, to move yourself to the next level. Um, you could be inclusive and welcome new team members into the team um, with, with some information, but it also spans beyond HR. So our journeys is an enterprise platform that allows you to create journeys in contract management, allows you to create journeys in position management. Um, or in uh, managing your um, financial situation or new new project you're engaging on. Um, so around our project modules. So Journeys is a solution that can help simplify multi-step tasks for virtually any process within the organization. And we also have an area that is called my journeys. And these are the journeys that I'm on um, myself. And so I'm on, an, I'm on a number of different journeys. And let me give you an example of what a few of these might look like. So we have journeys to grow your career. And so this is a journey designated for you in order to help you progress in your career. And so the journey may start with a um, the journey may start with a video, and that video is um, a uh, simple way to show your employees 
um, how they could leverage some capabilities in your system like Opportunity Marketplace, and they could sign up for some gigs in order to grow their skills. So, so great, great way to, to do that. Um, I might have, um, I might explore some different roles within um, my career development area. So what's nice about Journeys is it connects to um, all of the um, pages within our HCM ERP um, supply chain management system very, very easily. I can connect and I'm in career development now and I could explore a senior manager role and I can see what my fit is and I could add potentially a goal for me to achieve the next um, skill that I need in order for me to be more eligible for that particular career. So, so what Journeys does is it walks you through in logical order a series of steps to help you be more productive, complete different tasks, grow your career. It's a great employee experience platform, but it also can serve to help you do other things like um, return to the workplace. So it can be very um, productive and help keep your organization safe. So if you were returning to the workplace, you might want to understand or your company might want to put out standard policies and and. These policies could be different by location, um, by country, but different, but varying policies for you to safely return to the office. So you might get a video of our standard policies um, in order for you to know how to, to return to the workforce. Um, and I can complete that task. Um, we may re require a COVID test um, and maybe we require, require a COVID test on a weekly basis. You can have um, direct connections and integrations to third parties like Quest Diagnostics, who's an HCM customer. You could find a facilities and, and get tested if that's a requirement to come back in. And these are seated journeys that, that we provide. Um, you might need to complete a wellness um, check. And these wellness checks are um, something that we ship standard based on CDC guidelines, but you can change this. But questionnaires are, um, are part of this um, as well. You could sign up for PPE, but you get the idea. So if I was gonna return to work, um, and I needed um, to look at a multi-step process in order to do that, I could do that. Now, one of the cool things that, that we've enabled, and, and I'm going to show you what um, this looks like, is part of this area, which is um, journeys, we can extend and connect to other systems. So I'm going to show you a couple additional capabilities and show you how we can allow you to select a workplace and a time that you're going to come back, but how this allows you to connect to other um, systems through process orchestration and through approvals outside of our HR and ERP system that we have here centrally. So that that is the that is the concept around the launch pad. So you have Explore um, Journeys. This is your self service area, and you have My Journeys, which are the journeys that I'm on. But let's go beyond that to what we're calling um, the journey creator. And so the ability to create journeys is really where this em um, employee experience platform starts to add significant value. So if you remember at the beginning, I looked at my shared service area and I saw that my employees on my team in HR were having difficulty getting access to a new building. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go create a brand new journey um, and we ship a lot of seated journeys out of the box. So I'm going to start with a seated journey and I'm going to make some changes to it. However, I could start completely from scratch and build a journey from the ground up. But I'm going to start with um, a welcome to our Austin, Texas journey. So I just pulled from our library. We already have a welcome to our Austin, Texas, because that's our, our new headquarters and many people are moving to Austin, Texas. But I'm going to change this for H HR. For the HR department move, so I, I've I've re renamed it, um, and I'm going to put HR. And so I'm going to augment this journey a little bit, starting with the standard "Welcome to Austin, Texas," and I'm going to go here, and I'm I'm comfortable with what tasks we have already seated in the journey. I could um, add more, I could move them around if I wanted to do that, but I'm gonna add some additional tasks. So I'm gonna go ahead and add, um, they're having trouble getting access. So I'm gonna add a request security badge access to this task. That's from our task library. 
And I'm going to have them do that right after they request a workspace. And I'm going to have make that an employee task versus a manager task. And then I'm going to add a manual task, not going to our seated library. And this task is going to be by team lunch. And I'm going to add that task. And I'm going to make that a manager task to remind me to um, buy the team lunch. And once I'm comfortable with that, I could save this task to the library or I could sign it, which will save it as well. And I assigned it um, to my HR department. And now they have access to this particular journey. And I can see that this journey has showed up in my journeys because um, I'm part of the team that I assigned it to. And it's part of um, my journeys that I'm on. And if I drill down into this, I can see all the components of the journey now. So I could see the virtual tour of the new office. Um, these were all kind of seated. I could see the wellness check. I could see um, if you need to place a COVID uh, PPE order. But here again, I have request office space. Since we're not, I'm only going there for a day. Um, I need to request office space. It's not my full-time place. So I'm going to say from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. I'm sorry, 6 I want to request office space. I'm going to select where, where I want to sit. Um, and I'm going to complete that task. But what I'm showing you here um, is I created this task. And now this task has been built using our journeys booster capability that allows you to extend our processes and integrate to other systems within your organization. So here, I'm integrating to a third-party facilities um, system, and I'm able to do that. And I can process workflows or approvals for the facilities team and the team on site to go ahead and approve me coming to that office and sitting in this cubicle outside of our HR and ERP system. So huge value to extend these process flows outside um, of our workflows and outside of our integrations. I'm going to request a badge. So again, this is allowing me to get into the media production room. This is where I need to have access. Um, I'm doing a video sh video shoot. So now I have I'm getting access. And again, we're integrating to a third party system um, in order for me to get a badge and get access to a third party system. So I'm going to go ahead and complete that. Um, and what you've seen is me walk through and create a journey um, using a template of Welcome to Austin. I augmented it for our HR department move. Um, I changed it by adding some additional security access capability. So now my team won't be logging as many help desk tickets um, is, uh, and, and, and those issues will be resolved and they'll be able to get access to the new building. And I extended several tasks to integrate to third-party systems and, and leverage third-party approvals um, using our Journeys Booster. So I showed you Journeys Launchpad, I showed you Journeys Creator, and I showed you Journeys Booster. That is, makes up the foundational elements of our enterprise employee platform called Oracle Cloud HCM Journeys. But there's more. So if you see that, these journeys, um, especially my journeys, uh, can be assigned to me. And, and we can assign journeys um, by just simply coming here. I could assign it to myself. I could assign it to others. I could add this to my journeys. That would be assigning it to myself. So that one way that um, you can go on and take these journeys or these experiences is to be assigned a journey or an experience or um, to, be, uh, to add it to, to yourself, um, add your own um, journey that you want to go on. But the capability exists in order for you to be working in other places. So our digital assistant, which is our conversational user experience, um, allows you to complete transactions, ask questions, find out information. Um, but I could be doing using the digital assistant here as a front end to our application. I could be doing it if I'm in a social platform like Teams or Slack, or I could be doing this in SMS. Um, I could be outside of the application and still getting access to not only the conversation user experience, but I'm going to show you how um, 
every transaction or every major transaction or HR system can trigger a journey. So this is something that none of the um, vendors that offer these enterprise employee experiences can do. Um, so the service nows of the world or the sales forces with their help desk, they can't trigger transactions that are happening in the system of record. I'm going to show you what that looks like by completing a transaction. So we'll complete a, a, um, a con transaction around, I got married, which is super, super great. Um, so we'll be celebrating that. And they want to know what date. Um, so I just got married on the 21st. And I'm just going to validate this. I'm not showing the transaction that can be done, um, which is great. You can do a number of transactions here, the digital assistant. But what, I'm, what I am showing you is I've completed that transaction and the journey doesn't end when the transaction completes. So now what I can do is I can now go in and add additional um, steps to that transaction um, that the employee may need to complete in order for them to successfully, truly um, finish the journey of changing their marital status. So in some countries, we may require that they upload their digital or their marriage certificate, and you can do that. Um, but we may want them to update their personal information, their tax withholdings. We might um, recommend that they add their beneficiary and sign up for benefits. And, and do that in a period of time in order for them to be eligible. So what's nice about um, journeys is not only can you assign or be assigned journeys, not only can, you, um, can we push them to you based on machine learning and artificial intelligence, and we do that as well, we also can have journeys triggered by transactions that get completed. So just think of all the great use cases that you could have. Somebody transfers to a different country. There's a number of expatriate documents that need to be filled out. That process doesn't finish till that gets completed. Um, that can now be created as a journey. Or I move to a new office and I need to get appropriate badging. I need to get appropriate cred credentials. I need to have my manager sign off on that move. That can be triggered after a transfer transaction happens. So Journeys really allows you to truly create consumer-grade, end-to-end, enterprise employee experiences that cut across all different applications within your organization. Not only our HR, ERP, and supply chain manufacturing systems that we run, where we manage you know, the system of record for those transactions, but to other systems we can extend to through our journeys booster, through process orchestration, and through approvals. Thank you for attending another episode of Inside Innovation. Hopefully you're as excited as I am around our enterprise employee experience platform um, called HCM Cloud Journeys. And you can see what a big difference it will make um, for your employees and their experiences within your organization.